Hi all, this is Abhishek and I'm watching 3.0 TV. In the recent days, Bitcoin has experienced a remarkable price resurgence, largely driven by significant inflows into the spot Bitcoin ETFs in the US. Over the last three trading days, these ETFs have attracted more than $1 billion in net purchases, signaling a strong shift in investor sentiment. Total spot Bitcoin ETF trading volume has surpassed $2.1 billion for the second consecutive day. According to the data from Farsight investors, major players like Fidelity and Blackloft have led the charge, pulling in approximately $760 million combined. After a combined period of offers, Bitcoin saw a massive influx of $253 million last Friday, followed by nearly $556 million on Monday and $371 million yesterday, totaling into $1 billion. This surge has contributed to Bitcoin's impressive climb from below $59,000 to around $67,000, just 9% away from its previous all-time high. In a significant move, crypto asset manager Grayscale has filed with the United States Securities and Exchange Commission to convert its $520 million fund, which tracks multiple cryptocurrencies, into an exchange traded fund. The New York Stock Exchange, on Grayscale's behalf, requested the conversion in an October 14 filing. Grayscale Digital Large Cap Fund manages just over $524 million in all assets, weighted with a 76% allocation to Bitcoin, followed by an 18% allocation to Ethereum, with the remainder split among Solana, XRP, and Avalanche. This conversion would allow investors to buy and sell shares in the fund more easily, reflecting a growing interest in diversified crypto assets. While Bitcoin ETFs bask in this growing demand, the landscape for the Ethereum ETFs remain challenging. Despite a slight uptick in inflows recently, Ethereum spot ETFs have struggled to gain traction since their launch in July, primarily due to significant outflows from the Grayscale front. Furthermore, in an exciting development, Canary Capital has filed to create a Litecoin ETF adding another layer to the evolving ETF landscape. Their aim is to provide institutional investors with exposure to Litecoin, which has been recognized for its stability and reliability in the crypto ecosystem. Litecoin has also up by 10% in the past 24 hours because of this news. However, analysts note that the approval of a Litecoin ETF may depend heavily on a robust and federally regulated futures market, something that currently lacks. Still, a pro-crypto presidential environment could pave the way for future approvals. Moreover, in a ground-making move, Bonk Kenu, a meme coin built on the Solana blockchain, now has a Bonk ETP which has begun accepting investments from qualified investors. This marks the first instance, the very first instance of a meme coin entering the ATP space traditionally dominated by more established cryptocurrencies. This collaboration is done with Osprey Funds, which aims to leverage their regulatory experience, potentially transforming the perception of meme coins and offering structured investment options for both institutional and retail investors. As Bitcoin surges towards new heights and new financial products emerge, the landscape of the cryptocurrency continues to evolve. The interplay between traditional assets and emerging tokens like Bonk and highlight a growing institutional interest in digital assets beyond just Bitcoin and Ethereum. The crypto community is watching closely as these developments could reshape the investment landscape for the following years to come. So I think that's it for today's segment on the ETFs. Thank you for watching 3.0 TV. Stay tuned for more updates.